actual uh, topic, resilience, this is something that a Lebenshilfe from uh, Tirol, from Austria, um, is hosting a session uh, titled Purpose-Based Identity and how it helps to, go f um, to get through even crises like COVID-19 and build up organizational resilience. So uh, very interesting for everyone uh, working in an environment where this is um, very um, much needed. And on Channel 3, we have an international NGO from Israel, uh, Bait Isi Shapiro, the innovation-oriented NGO, and they will discuss how technology can promote participation in play and uh, leisure for children and adults with disabilities. And as an athlete, I know how important it is to uh, stay active and uh, be able to participate in those activities. And uh, the session will also um, show examples of available products, uh, software, uh, software and apps that are helping in this domain. But right now, we're going to dive into um, all our, our these uh, and their projects uh, together with Wilfried and Anna. Thank you, Andreas. This will be a most exciting session since it will be live and we have winner statements from some of our 82 awardees. As you know, we have a total of 10 innovative policies and 72 innovative practices. So all of you have been really very responsive to our multiple requests be it for more detailed information, for additional photo material, or to record some video material. Thank you so much for it. Well, and here comes your big hour for celebrations. You're all in a common virtual meeting room, and you have a sequence in chat who comes next. So please be disciplined. You will be muted if you're not talking, and please respect the 30 seconds limit. So we will call out the name of the organization. Please unmute yourself and do your statement. We kindly ask you to stick to the time limit because everybody should have the chance to speak up and contribute. All right, let us start. The Special Needs Initiative for Growth from Nigeria, please. The Special Needs Initiative for Growth from Nigeria. Please unmute yourself and, and make your statement. Thank you. Uh, and next, the COPE Foundation from Ireland. Please unmute. Please unmute your microphone and then do your statement. The COPE Foundation from Ireland, please. They can't hear us. Yeah. Can we try again? The COPE Foundation from Ireland, can you hear us? Hello, I hear you now. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. Hello, my name is Marion Hennessy and I'm the coordinator of Ability of Work co-foundation in Cork in Ireland. Ability of Work is a rights-based, high-quality, supported employment service which brings young people with intellectual disabilities and autism closer to the labour market. This programme assists job seekers at key transition points between education, training and employment. We are addressing the inequalities in the labour market towards people who are marginalised by breaking the cycle of poverty. We help to fulfil people's dreams to reach their pot potential to become active, valued citizens in their own communities. No dream is too big. We put our participants at the heart of our programme to ensure we are person-centred. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Anna? And thank you. The next one, Australian Network on Disability from Australia. Thank you. My name is Amy Worley. I'm the Deputy CEO of Australian Network on Disability. And we're honoured that our stepping into internship programme was an awardee for the Zero Project. Looking into is a demand-led programme where employers offer paid internships to university students with disability. 
programme is all about mutual benefit. Employers raise their disability confidence and understanding of workplace adjustments and accommodations, and students gain vital work experience to increase their employment outcomes after their studies. Since 2005, we closed the gap in the employment outcomes of people with disability against their peers, and we facilitated over 1,500 roles with 4,000 students applying for roles. We are keen to support our overseas colleagues to replicate the programme. All you need is employers who see the business benefit of advancing the inclusion of people with disability and universities that are willing to promote the internships. Please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to work with you. Thank you again and enjoy the conference. Thank you, Amy. Next is the Keystone Human Services from the United States. Please go ahead. Hello, my name is Catherine Talada, and I'm honored to accept this award on behalf of Keystone Autism Services. Thank you to the Zero Project and the review team for selecting us to stand with these examples of excellence and innovation in employment. This recognition wouldn't be possible without the work of remarkable adult community autism program employees who drive forward our mission with a great deal of care, effort, and determination. In closing, I would like to thank the ACAP participants for allowing us to contribute to their vision for a good life. The true measure of our success is in the success of those that we support. Thank you. Thank you. And the next, Sense from India. Namaste. Thank you very much for the award. And my name is Akhil Paul. I am the founder director for Sense International India. Uh, we are the only national level organization working for deaf blind in this part of the world. And we are reaching out in 23 states plus in Bangladesh and Nepal. In the last 24 years, we have reached out to more than 80,000 deaf blind people. And apart from successful inclusion of deaf blindness in local acts and policies, early intervention and need based education, we are focusing on building vocational skills of deafblind adults. In the last five years, about 130 deafblind adults have become bread earners through our income generation program. And we work very closely with NGOs in other South Asian countries by providing technical expertise and capacity building. Have a lovely conference ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Akhil. Next is Virtu Alahan from the Philippines. Ryan, please go ahead. Mabul Haid from the Philippines. Thank you, the Zero Project and our communities of disability champions all over the world. Let us continue to use the equalizing power of technology and build a future of work that redefines persons with disability to persons who deliver. We are with you on this. Thank you. And the next World Vision from the United States of America. Thank you very much for this award on behalf of World Vision. We work globally in over 100 countries and we're delighted to have been a contributor to innovation around providing livelihoods at, together with WASH support for uh, refugees in all around the world. And, and we, we tested this in Uganda and we're excited to work with others on extending some of your ideas and uh, to extending support to refugees in other countries around the world. Thank you, and enjoy the conference. Thank you so much. The next organization is Lev from Denmark. Annie, go ahead, please. Thank you. As president of LIV Inclusion Denmark, I'm very proud of this award to our project Club Job. And I'd like to thank Zero Project and everybody involved. In cooperation with private sector companies and municipalities, Clubjob has created more than 4,000 jobs to, to persons with intellectual disabilities. The job gives self-respect and inclusion in everyday working life. We hope to give this chance to thousands more. Thank you. Thank you. And now live from India, Naman Seva Samiti, please. Thank you. I am Shishir Kumar from Naman Seva Samiti, India. I thank Zero Project for recognizing the work of Naman Seva Samiti for past 20 years. 
Naman has been working for disability inclusive development and receiving this prestigious award has made thousands of persons with disabilities in rural India proud today. Our incredible journey would not have been possible without support of our partners who believed in us. Our gratitude goes to all our partners as well. We are proud that Naman today is working with over 50,000 families, including 17,000 persons with disabilities to build a dignified life through Naman financial inclusion and livelihood development programs. Thank you Naman so much. Is expert Thank you so much, Ishia. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid we're running out of time. Uh, Mira, Youth for Jobs, you're next from India. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. On behalf of my team, so happy to be one of the 2021 Zero Project awardees and happy to share our high impact but challenging work with youth with disabilities and labor markets. We skill 14 youth with disabilities every single day. In the last nine years of our journey, we've skilled and put into jobs 25,300 youth with disabilities pan India. We're really happy to be here to listen, learn, and partner with innovative work, whether it's done by companies, univer universities, government, funders, because truly we believe this work cannot be done alone, and together we can all leave behind a better world. Thank you. And now from Bulgaria, Chamba, please. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, it is a real honor for our whole Jamba network to uh, this recognition and to be part for the very first time in the Zero Project Conference. Uh, my name is Eva Tsolova. I'm co-founder of Jamba. And our mission is to support people with different types of disabilities to attain key competences, soft and professional skills in the IT and AI sector. As a follow-up step, we support them to find jobs by connecting them with employers. We have also developed an innovative and, and accessible e-learning platform, so that way we are able to reach also people in rural areas. And our hope is to reach in the future more and more people and to further expand our solution. Thank you very much, and I wish the best of luck to everyone. Thank you, Eva. From Bulgaria, we go to Brazil, to the Instituto Jao Clemente. Victor, please. Thank you so much, Zero Projects. Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, and a good evening. As we are in different time zones, it's a pleasure to be here with you in this space. My name is Victor, I'm from Brazil, and I represent Instituto Jo Clemente. We work with people with intellectual disabilities, from birth to aging process, based on their needs. In April, we celebrate 60 years of existence. Being here, sharing our experience with you is a gift and a great satisfaction for us. Thank you so much. Thank you. And now, live from the United States of America, Griffin Hemis Associates, please. Hi, I'm Beth Keaton. I'm the executive director of Griffin Hamas Associates. And um, we'd like to thank the Zero uh, Conference for elevating the critical importance of employment throughout the world and the recognition of the necessity of increasing economic self-sufficiency for people with disabilities through valued contribution to their communities. At Griffin Hamas Associates, we teach and support the development of services that involve individual matchmaking employment outcomes for people with disabilities in ways that really benefit the businesses and the communities as well. We have a bias towards action and we believe that fundamentally and unequivocally all people are employable. Thank you so much. We will continue with the Lebanese Union of Persons with Disability. Good to see you, Silvana. Please go ahead. All right, I hear uh, Silvana is not here, so we go from uh, to the Eco Raseni Association in Moldova. Sergio, please. Not here. He's not here. Okay. Okay, then uh, let's welcome Onse from Spain as next organization. 
Okay, thank you very much. My name is Sabina Lovato from the Onset Foundation in Spain. Many thanks to Zero Project for recognizing our uh, project one on one uh, that has shown us that uh, innovation, prototyping, and scaling solutions responding to the specific needs of certain disability groups are the best ways to face the challenge of providing work opportunities for those persons with disabilities furthest from the labor market, such, such as intellectual or psychological disabilities. It also has had a great impact on youth from, from getting the first work experience means breaking a pattern of transitioning from compulsory education, mainly inclusive, to social community or family services that perpetuate inactivity and dependency. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sabina. We go to Fuva Vita in Tanzania, please. They're not here. Uh, we continue with Korea from China. Can you hear us, Walter? Please go ahead. I think you have to unmute yourself, then we can, we can hear you. Thank you. Hello. <coughs> Hello, everyone. Um, this is Carrie L from Hong Kong. This is our great honor to be recognized by the Zero Project Award. I'm the founder. This organization with Sapphire Low Vision, we are a group of passionate people with and without disabilities to use our human resources and business uh, professionalism to, um, to offer job matching support for people with, um, uh, with higher education, with disabilities to align with our uh, education. So our uniqueness is to engage with wide range of employers um, to tap into this overlooked talents pool uh, with the whole business approach. We developed sustainable young leaders with disabilities with our uh, youth development model, with our student union, alumni union, mentorship and scholarship uh, programs to share experience along and to share, pass along experience generations by generation. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now let's welcome Sente from Chile. I just hear that not here. The next University of Hi, Vermont. I'm here. Ah, you're here. The stage yeah. is yours. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Thanks to the Zero Project. And we at the National Training and Employment Service believe that everyone deserves an opportunity to contribute to themselves, their family, and society through work. That's why we developed the, the Training for Work program on his line for people with disabilities program with focus on the users, but also on breaking barriers for people with disabilities to get a job opportunity via public-private alliances, training, job insertion, and accompaniment. Thank you very much. Thank you. We continue with the University of Vermont. Brian, please. Hello, I'm Brian Daig. I'm with the University of Vermont. Very happy to be here representing the state of Vermont's post-secondary education initiative. This is a collaboration of the State Developmental Disability Services Division, the Division of Vocational Rehabilitation, and the Agency on Education to support and coordinate high school vocational training programs, um, university-based programs, and lifelong learning for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, next organization, the City of Helsinki from Finland, please. I'm not here. Then Good afternoon. Uh, yes, we're here. Okay, go ahead, please, Sami. Okay, yes, good afternoon and greetings from Helsinki, Finland. I'm Sami Nimirut and I'm the uh, senior employment counselor at the city of Helsinki. Uh, we are very happy and grateful for this award. And I wish to thank everyone who has made the, the supported employment service what it is today during these more than 25 years. Uh, our service users, staff and the employers. Uh, the work is not finished and we still need individual paths to work life. As, and this award shows that we are in the right direction. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sami. Uh, we go to the US, we go to New York, to the Mayor's Office for Persons with Disabilities. Martha, please go ahead. 
Thank you. Hello, world. I'm Martha Jackson, Assistant Commissioner for Employment and Business Development at the New York City Mayor's Office for People with Disabilities, where we created NYC at Work, the city's first public-private partnership for New Yorkers with disabilities. Through collaboration with businesses, nonprofits, city and state agencies, and universities, we've connected over 400 qualified and talented New Yorkers across all disabilities to jobs in city government and across all high growth sectors. I'm honored to represent the mayor's office in accepting this award, and I look forward to sharing best practices and creating real change together, especially in this new COVID post COVID world. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, we stay in the United States of America with the SEED organization, please. Thank you. My name is Nadia Mossberg, and I'm the federal lead for the State Exchange on Employment and Disability, otherwise known as SEED. On behalf of the U.S. Department of Labor's Office of Disability Employment Policy, thank you to the Zero Project for recognizing SEED. SEED helps state and local policymakers implement inclusive policies that address barriers and improve opportunities for all individuals in achieving employment success. We are so honored to be a part of this exclusive group of awardees and excited to work together as we continue to adv advance the rights and quality of life for people with disabilities throughout the world. Congratulations to our fellow awardees and thank you again. Thank you so much, Nadia. We will continue with Seco Chile. Rodrigo, please. Yes, hello. I am Rodrigo Carvajal from Seco Chile, an eco-friendly car wash service where most of our workers are people with disabilities. I just want to thank Zero Pride for this great opportunity. I hope there are many of us who achieve to replicate our models around the world, thereby improve the labor inclusion of so many people with disabilities who are looking forward to a world without barriers on the fair. Many thanks. We are very grateful for this recognition and best wishes for all. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now from Bangladesh, the Bangladesh Business and Disability Network. Hello, this is Murtaza Khan, the CEO of BBDN. As a business and disability network, we're bringing employers, organizations that work with and for persons with disabilities, and development partners together to work towards building an inclusive labor market system. Of course, operating against the backdrop of the pandemic and a swiftly evolving uh, market that's moving towards digital transformation, we see the need for technology-driven solutions with offline complementary practical support to take disability confidence further in the labor market. And we'd finally like to thank the Zero Project for recognizing our efforts, and we look forward to collaborating with our partners to build further on disability inclusion in Bangladesh. Thank you. Thank you, Matheza. Uh, we go to Germany, to AFB. Nicole, please. Yes, hi, I'm Nicole, and I'm from the AFB Group. We deliver on top performance in right to marketing. We prove that professionalism and inclusive are not mutually exclusive because we are non-profit, protecting the environment and successfully challenging our for-profit competitors. We are pan-European, we create added value socially and economically. So social and green IT, we are not perfect, but we are ambitious and work hard every day for every employee. We are the AFB Group. Thank you. Thank you very much. And our next guest is IKEA Russia, please. Hello, everyone. I'm happy to be here with you. And I'm grateful to the Zero Team project for gathering all of us together here. Uh, I'm representing IKEA Russia, and uh, I, I am a quality, diversity, inclusion leader in IKEA. Uh, IKEA, as a values driven company, uh, tends to to create a better everyday life for the many people. And employment of people with disabilities is one of our main focuses in Russia. So to promote this disability inclusive environment within IKEA and to support an international movement at the Olympics in Russia, we launched a joint project in 2015. And it has become a bridge between the business, educational institutions, trade unions, government and NGOs. And we are happy to share that as a result, hundreds of Olympics participants 
uh, took part in our skills for employment trainings, mainly on soft skills. And many of our co-workers uh, became experts, trainers, volunteers, and became uh, ambassadors of inclusive environment. Uh, and uh, more than 4,000 Olympics participants in the whole Russia uh, were employed uh, due to such projects. And the number of people with disabilities in IKEA uh, is almost twice more, from 80 to 150 uh, in two years. Thank you so much, Lydia. Thank you. Thank you. We continue with Dev Talk from Pakistan. Ali, please go ahead. Hi, thank you, everyone. First of all, I would love to thank the all jury members of Zero Project team who selected Dev Talk as one of the most innovative startups or projects for the Zero Project. It's a digital online sign language interpretation services we provide quality sign language interpretation services through our mobile app, which is available on both iOS and Android platform. We are operating in Pakistan and Singapore market and tends to empower thousands of persons with disabilities. Country, we have 18,000 plus active users from both market. And we believe barrier breaks when communication starts. So through the quality interpretation services, we engage more than 1,000 persons with hearing impairment on the employment agenda. So in this way, businesses are being inclusive for their quality. Thank you so much for everyone for all boarding that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, Microlink PC from the UK, please. Um, good day, everyone. Um, I'm Naksa I'm mm -hmm. the chief executive of Microlink. Um, we established 30 years ago, um, we're using assistive technology to help people with disabilities in university and in workplace. We've helped up to half a million people to overcome barriers and the challenges faced because of their condition. We work with global um, employers, uh, big companies, multinational, and we help the disabled people. Uh, I would like to congratulate all the awardees for the amazing work they do. I would like to reach out to all those um, awardees to work together to share experience so that we can roll out what we do in UK, what we've learned affordable to give to everyone. I hope we can work together in the future. Thank you. We continue with Ames Media from India. Rakesh, please go ahead. Namaste to everyone. I'm so glad to connect with you all and would like to extend my sincere compliments for the wonderful work you are doing. Thank you, ESSL Foundation and Zero Project for organizing this wonderful platform. At Ames Media, we are imparting inclusive and accessible education to people with diverse needs, abilities, age, and difficulties for more than a decade. Ability Enhancement Multimedia Program is one of our flagship and globally accepted skill building program, which assists persons with disabilities to grow holistically and eventually create work opportunities. AMPCQ uh, tool has helped more than 10,000 space disabled people across the globe to assess their creative strength. Through this platform, I announced that we can conduct this assessment test for your beneficiaries on pro bono basis uh, at your convenience so that you can know the hidden talent of these beneficiaries and take advantage of big, big opportunities in the fast growing multimedia field. Thank you, Zero Project team, for awarding AEMP as innovative practice from the business sector. Thank you. Thank you very much. And our next guest comes from Nigeria. It's a special needs initiative for growth. Good day, everyone. My name is Rachel, the founder and project team lead of special needs initiative for growth in Nigeria. I come from a community where persons with disability become susceptible to social distrust as a result of political, social, and economic barrier and malfunctions. But going forward, being a Zero Project awardee is a great honor for us because we can now amplify our efforts to engage and empower more persons with disability in Nigeria and other low- and middle-income countries who will collectively shape our future and reverse the vicious cycle of distrust and catalyze an impactful solution. Thank you so much, and it's a pleasure to be here. All right, we will continue with Poi Labs from Turkey. 
Hi, I am Ersin. I am founder of Prolabs. We are a for-benefit startup and our vision is to make the mobility of visually disabled community easier. We are providing indoor navigation in more than 100 venues. I want to thank everyone for this great award. It shows us that we are doing the right thing and it encourages us to achieve more. Today is the best and tomorrow will be better. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Our next awardee from India, the TCS Access Infinity Platform. Uh, good evening. Uh, I'm Charudat Jado from Tata Consultancy Services. Thank you, Zero Project, for recognizing our contribution, TCS Access Infinity. I'm happy to be part of this initiative along with our partner, Daisy Forum of India. DFI empowers persons with print disabled. disabled and give them equal opportunity to live a dignified life. This multimodal platform with capability of real-time conversion has transformed digital publishing landscape in India. Now we are working with international organization to, to replicate this success across the world. Thanks once again. Such, such recognition gives us motivation keep innovating and making a difference in the life of person with disability. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. We will continue with Red Apis from Chile. Please go ahead. Red Apis, are you here? Are you online, Diego? Can you hear us? All right, we will continue with Rea from the Netherlands. Lea, please, go ahead. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Lea Guignard. I work for Enablement as a Program Development Officer, and I'm the coordinator of the Rehab Project. The Rehab is a smartphone application for field workers in low- and middle-income countries. It aims to enhance field workers' capacity to work with people with disabilities within their communities and plans to offer information on 21 types of disabilities. It can be downloaded for free and accessible offline once downloaded. We're very grateful for our partners around the world and their inv involvement in the field, whose feedback is essential to making sure yes. that the rehab develops and involves based on the user's needs. Thanks again to the Zero Project for the recognition oh, and feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions regarding our project. Thank you very much. Uh, next in the line is Enable India, please. Greetings to, greetings to everyone. Um, my name is Moses and I work as a program director at Enable India. Our 20 years of work at Enable India has accelerated opportunities for persons with disabilities, including multiple and severe disabilities. Our innovation, Educate Yourself Easily, is a software that helps visually impaired to learn computers and gain access to digital pathways. And we would like to scale this impact uh, and reach out to 1 million visually impaired in the next five years across the globe. And we would like to partner with many organizations and make this uh, solution available in different contexts. And I would like to thank everybody uh, in the value chain making this innovation possible. Thank you. Thank you so much. We will continue with Passwork from Belgium. Good afternoon, every, everyone. Just like everyone else, people with an autism spectrum profile deserve to be part of our society and regular economy. Unfortunately, and not intentionally, we exclude them very often in employment, in care, in sports, in education, and so on. We neglect their needs in architecture, in the organization of our society, our work, our way of communication, and other domains. But don't forget that what we adapt for them is also very beneficial for people without this profile. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, and next, please welcome the Eco Racine Association from Moldova. Please unmute your microphone so that we can hear you. Okay. 
video. Thank you so much. Uh, we will continue now with two videos which have been pre-recorded. One is from the SOA Aram VR Center from South Korea, and the other one is our fr from our friends in Ethiopia, the Teki paper bags. Go ahead, please. 반갑습니다. 저는 김행란입니다. 한국 최초로 제로 프로젝트에 선정되어 오늘 여러분과 함께하게 되어 매우 기쁩니다. 우리는 사회에서 일을 할수 없는 중증 장애인들이 소외되지 않고 직업으로 진입할 수 있도록 고용과 직업 훈련 프로그램인 자플러스 사업을 운영하고 있는 장애인 복지 기관입니다. 현재 정부 부처인 교육부, 고용노동부와 협업하며 이 사업을 한국의 모든 지역으로 확산시키는 것이 우리의 목표입니다. 우리의 목표가 이루어지는 그날까지 응원 부탁드립니다. 감사합니다. and we fight against plastic pollution in sign language. Together, we want to reserve the entre paper big sector. We create 30,000 bags to kick plastic bags out of Ethiopia. We love you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, our winners. Please hear our applause. <laughs> this was it. This was a mixture of the European and Worldwide Song Contest and the, and the Zero Project Award Ceremony. It was very exciting because, as you could tell, it was really live. Uh, and thank you for, for your discipline. Thank you for your, your participation. And we take the opportunity, since we have some time left, uh, to talk a little bit more, look behind the scenes of the evaluation process, what we do when the nomination comes in, and how we treat and get the information until you see the final results in the Zero Project Conference. Michael has joined us here on stage. Uh, Michael, why don't we start with the, let's say, the nomination process itself, the research phase and the April, May work we do. Okay, yeah, thanks to uh, all the awardees for the discipline. This gives us this unique and unplanned opportunity to give you a, a little uh, uh, glimpse behind the scenes of the Zero Project, how this actually works, how we are um, uh, sort of finding, nominating, evaluating, uh, peer reviewing, uh, and finally selecting the, uh, the awardees of, of every year's Zero Project. So we have an annual cycle. Uh, we start uh, by, maybe we could even say the day, the day right after the, the conference now, or last year, uh, with uh, already exploring our next year's topic. So in, last year it was employment, next year it's accessibility. And we take some weeks to really chart the territory, see who's out there, uh, who we have in our system, where we lack contacts, where we, where we might, might improve our knowledge on the, uh, on, on the topic. Uh, and this takes us until um, mid of May. Mid of May, we launched a call for nomination. We have improved the database. Uh, we have put everything on, um, on, on, um, on computers. We have everything prepared. All the, um, uh, the questionnaires are out. Uh, the uh, contact database is, is out and we have a, a special platform for those who made it. You know this, uh, where you have to, to place your nomination. So the second phase uh, is the nomination period uh, starts with the call for nomination mid of May and ends normally, and last year it did, uh, by the first week of July. Uh, and then it's mainly Milford's, uh, Milford's jobs are handing back to you. Uh, then it's the peer review, evaluation, and voting period. Maybe, Wilfred, you come in here and explain that part. Thank you, yes. Maybe we should also mention that we are using the, the World Summit Awards platform uh, and thank to genius Cordian Brook and the ever supportive Nora Wolloch who really accommodate our needs and, and make it possible that we reach so many, so many people. Yes, at the, at the beginning of the summer, um, there's a lot to do, so we had more than 500 uh, nominations and we basically do the first step of evaluation. Uh, we determine if it's on topic. This year's topic is employment for persons with disabilities and information and communication technologies. And for the first time, we were also looking for nominations from four different sectors. You know practices and policies, but this time we also split the practice sector. So we were looking for innovations, innovations in the, from the policies, laws, standards, and regulation, and practices we have been asking for projects from civil society, from businesses, and from the ICT sector. So for the first time, we had the segmentation, uh, if you wish. After we had determined 
uh, which is on topic, which qualifies, which uh, nominations are also complete. Uh, we have been left with 475 uh, nominations after the first round of evaluation. In the second round, we ask experts on the topic from our vast network of more than 7,000 people to help us evaluate. They get the nominations and they judge on the three selection criteria, innovation, impact, and scalability. I think innovation is, is very clear. We are not looking for a worldwide innovation necessarily, but at least a regional one. For us, the impact is very important. We don't want models, prototypes, maybe in the ICT sector, but not in the Zero Project Awards, because we want to bring to our public, to our network, trusted and solutions which have been tested and which are working and are beneficial for persons with disability. And the third criteria is scalability. We don't want unicorns, we don't want single solutions which might work. We want to multiply, we want to spread the news, we want to enable the organizations to ex extend their reach horizontally or, verti or, or vertically, and this is why scalability is so important. And after the expert evaluation, we, we have been left at the end of the summer, in the, at the end of August, with 178 uh, projects, practices, and policies on the, on the short list. The last step of the selection process is the voting, which basically goes out to the whole database of the 7,000 uh, names and organization in it, uh, and you have the possibility to grade which one should advance into the final round. Yeah, and uh, this is all brought together by Anna, who sits with us, our process manager, so you can imagine it's, uh, it's a lot of effort to, to put the capacities right. To, to, uh, we, are, we are a small team of some six, seven people involved in that, so it's Anna's job to keep all the resources and capacities that we have in line to keep in, in, a, in a very clear time frame uh, and, and uh, be at the same time as, um, as, 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 as exact and as... Um, as uh, professional as, as, as possible and as, especially as transparent as possible in our, in our selection process. So as Wilfred mentioned, by September we have, will have done the voting, then we make a final decision uh, on those um, uh, 82 that we finally selected uh, that meet all the criteria, as Wilfred explained, and also got the highest votes uh, from, uh, from um, our community. And, and uh, as mentioned, it's also not about being the brightest and most innovative. It's about being able to connect, the ability to connect. It's also the ability to connect with us uh, because what we want is to, to bring innovative ideas to this community that want to share, that want to connect, uh, and that want to, to uh, enlarge this community of, um, of people who uh, want to work with innovations and want to work with innovative ideas. Yeah, and, and, and by um, yeah, October, uh, we start our next phase, which is um, um, preparing the, uh, the, the publications, preparing the conference, and uh, communicating basically all the, the results that we, that we have. Also, Zero Project Impact Transfer kicks in at this stage, so among those 82, 10 were selected, uh, that with the help of our, of, of our partners from Ashoka and Fundacion Descuberme, we considered the most scalable and innovative and most willing and able uh, to connect and also that uh, need the support of Ashoka to present themselves and make themselves more approachable and available and improve their storytelling and uh, the narrative so that people who should understand this model are also understanding it and are able to connect. So this is the process that uh, kicks in at, uh, at October and then, then this takes us until right now, the conference where we publish a report. This year we also published an almanac and we prepared, we prepared a conference. Uh, and what this year was, was new, there were uh, a lot of activities around December 3rd, uh, the, around the, the International Day of Disability. So we had a lot of, fortunately we were invited and, and honored to be invited by many partners uh, like, like the Purple Light Up uh, Day, uh, the Conference of State Parties to present in a side event. And we use all those opportunities uh, to promote and present uh, the innovations uh, that we have selected. Yeah, and uh, this will take us now, right after this conference, into the next phase, so we start again with accessibility and ICT. Michael, maybe we should talk about a little bit about the future. I think uh, especially you and Anna have a little pet project 
uh, which yeah, is a little more than a pet project. Hopefully, yeah. giving birth. Uh, please, please explain. Yeah. Anna, you want to say something about database and... Uh yes. So, uh, in, in the beginning of last year, we started our digitalization project and uh, the hard centerpiece of this project will be a new web search tool that will go online uh, in, uh, in, in, in late summer, beginning of autumn, as it is planned right now. This, uh, so we have, uh, we are already uh, working a lot on this project. We have collected all our research data from the last year, so since the beginning of the project, all the all the projects that we have awarded, all shortlisted projects, so everything is already prepared in in the background in the back. And we will then la launch a, a huge a portal where everyone can uh, access and have this uh, the all this information at his or her hand. Yeah, and. Um, COVID situation forced us also to go fully digital, not only with the conference, uh, but with, the, uh, with everything that we're producing. So it's much more on video, it's much more on, on, on pictures and photos. Uh, so um, as a result, um, we will be able to uh, publish uh, uh, or launch uh, the Zero Project web uh, TV, streaming TV platform, hopefully two weeks after the conference, where we'll have all the content of this conference, but we will constantly develop this and. Uh, and make uh, our, our video and, and, and uh, photo content also available via a kind of Netflix style um, presentation. And there's a lot more to come uh, in the next uh, weeks and months. So uh, this were the, was the major paradigm shift uh, that yeah, COVID forced us and we took this challenge and I uh, think we are now able to uh, present the, the, our content and this vast research and network in, in very different ways than we uh, could do this uh, before COVID. With it, maybe you, you can come, I think, to, to, to an, uh, a closing words, and yes. this is up to you. No? Yeah. Again, thank you, and congratulations to the, to the winners. Um, you deserved it. You have been through a very rigorous and thorough process, and you have been selected by many experts and organizations, peers from around the globe. And uh, please keep up the good work uh, and spread the gospel. I think we should uh, really talk about it uh, also promote this, uh, not only this award, but our platform and our cooperation, because we think uh, we cannot only preach to the converted. We need to reach out to new territories, to new companies, to new organizations, because uh, the way is still long uh, and hard, and we need to keep up uh, the good work. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for this live TV improvised uh, hour. Uh, and uh, I hope you could enjoy also a little bit to the, the view behind the scenes, what's going on at, at Zero Project. Please stay tuned uh, and we continue at the hour. Thank you. Bye-bye.